Good afternoon. <clears throat> so let me start out with, so some of the disciples um, stopped following Christ when it became too difficult for them. So please turn to John 6, 66 to 67, please. <clears throat> Starting in verse 66, <clears throat> from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? <clears throat> so what will we do? Will we also walk away from the Lord? <clears throat> but I exhort you to continue, as we will see in 2 Timothy. If you could turn to 2 Timothy 3, 14 to 17. <clears throat> So we'll be studying what um, Paul meant when he talked to Timothy, when he said, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, <clears throat> knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So if we look in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, um, continue is defined as to maintain without interruption a condition or course of action. So if we begin reading verse 14. <clears throat> but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. <clears throat> <clears throat> so when he says, but continue, he's referring to Timothy, as Timothy is nothing like the men of the previous verse, as we see in verse 13. <clears throat> but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. As we are light of the world, <coughs> sorry, light of the world, as we see in Matthew 5:16. If you could turn there. <coughs> in verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. <coughs> And then as going back to 2 Timothy, as he continues, he speaks to um, Timothy's faith as um, his mother and his grandmother and Paul also had a big impact on his life. Uh, if you could turn to 2 Timothy 2, or sorry, 2 Timothy um, 1 verse 5. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> So 2 Timothy 1, verse 5. <clears throat> when I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that, um, sorry, and I am persuaded that in thee also. <clears throat> so as we can see, his, he had um, family who were also saved, which should be, um, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, which should be an encouragement for those with lost family members to never give up hope in the faith that they will come to know the Lord, as Timothy um, due to his family and Paul's impact on his life, um, came to know the Lord. And so um, when he speaks to next, as um, we stated already, is to continue in what he had been doing. So what does it mean to continue and to serve the Lord, <clears throat> um, as Paul exhorted Timothy? So if you could please turn to Galatians 2.20. <clears throat> So to live for Christ, it's to be a crucified life, as we'll see in a second here. So 2 verse 20, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I live now, <clears throat> in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. If you go to verse 5, sorry, chapter 5, verse 24 in Galatians. <clears throat> and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and lusts. <clears throat> And also, our, we are exhorted to spread the gospel, as if you could turn to 1 Corinthians 15. <clears throat> Starting in verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and wherein you stand, <clears throat> by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, Unless you have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. 
<coughs> right. <coughs> and then if we can turn back to 2 Timothy 3 again, we'll be looking at verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instruction, and righteousness. <clears throat> then it continues that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So I like how this gives us an outline for us to follow, <clears throat> as such as the Lord's Prayer is a, pat is a pattern for us, not a rehearsed prayer, but something that gives us a guideline. And then as we continue with verse 17, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all, unto all good works which is a summation of what verses 14 to 16 shows us. If we live a faithful life, we can be um, perfect until they furnished into all good works. <clears throat> so as we all know, this is an easy definition to understand. The goal is to never stop doing a task or thing you started. Keep striving toward the end goal, serving Christ and being a Christian towards others. <clears throat> Sorry, serving Christ and being a witness towards others, looking forward to his eventual coming. If you could please turn to Colossians 1.10. <clears throat> <clears throat> Colossians 1.10, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. And if you could turn to Colossians 4, 5-6. <clears throat> Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that, <clears throat> that you may know how you ought to answer every man. <clears throat> so many of us have been in church most of our lives and have heard and believed the truth, but there comes a time when we move on in our lives and become adults, that we stop renting the truth, as Br Brother Summerdorf said, we have to buy it. If you could turn to Proverbs 23, 23. <clears throat> By the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. <clears throat> and it, it's also easy to fall away at times, so it's important that we are in the Word daily um, and praying. If you could turn to Philippians 4, 6 to 7. <clears throat> Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your quest be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. <clears throat> so an application I thought of um, with our Christian life. So if you go to the gym, you might have a plateau where you need to um, break through a certain weight. So for example, like if you bench press, you can say you can do 135, but you get stuck at that weight. So you have to do different things to um, do lower weight to work up to it. But basically, the same thing goes for our walk with Christ. We might have laws where we are stuck in a rut, which we need to overcome. <clears throat> there might be something in our life that is holding us back, as Caleb spoke to last um, dinner on the grounds. Um, when he um, spoke to whether something might be holding you back, it could be a video game, TV shows, or friends. So if you could please turn to Proverbs 25, 28. <clears throat> He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. And if you could go to Proverbs 16, 32. <clears throat> he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh his city. <clears throat> yeah. And so if we look back on our Christian life, like a photo album, we always want to go back, we, <clears throat> sorry, um, if we look back on our Christian life, what do we see? Do we see times where we were serving Christ or times where we were cooled off and um, were backslidden or did we stay committed to Christ? As Paul says, um, it's a race. The Christian life is a race. If you could turn to 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. <clears throat> Starting verse 24, 
Know ye not that they, that they which run in a race run, a, run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run, ye, run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. <clears throat> I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. <clears throat> And if you could turn to 1 Timothy 4.16. <clears throat> Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. And then if you could turn to Acts 14.22. <clears throat> confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of heaven. And if you could turn to Colossians 1.23. If you continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard, and which was preached to every creature, which I, which is under heaven, whereof I am Paul and Manabist minister. And if you could turn to First John chapter two, verses twenty to twenty-four. <clears throat> but you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth but because you know it, and, you, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar that he denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. And if you could turn to John 8, 31 to 32. <clears throat> Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. <clears throat> and so in conclusion, we'll turn back to 2 Timothy 3. <clears throat> we'll start in verse 13. <clears throat> But evil men and seducers, seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. <clears throat> so remember this, as we will experience many trials through our lives, we do not want to look back at our lives in which we had, um, could have done things differently. Set your faith in God and have the determination to su succeed through God's help. What moments do we have to look back on in our lives that pointed to others to Christ? <clears throat> were we an example of what a Christian is, a little Christ? Remember what we were fighting for and what is at stake. Will you continue? Thank you.